Hi, I'm Matthew Coase from CommitmentConnection.com, and today I have another question from a woman in our community. She asks, how do I let go of past hurts and take that leap to trusting men? So that's a good question, and it's, uh, and it is difficult. Everybody's got past hurts, and uh, everybody has trust issues as far as I know. Uh, at least most people do. Um, so the big thing about letting go of past hurts really is about forgiveness and, and, you know, I just want to note and let you, you know, remind you that forgiveness is not about another person. It's about you. It's about healing yourself. It's about, um, putting yourself in a space where you let go. And so, uh, you know, you, maybe you need to forgive yourself uh, for things that you feel like you did wrong. Um, maybe you need to forgive a man or men in general. Um, you know, but forgiveness is really the path to letting go of past hurts. And, and uh, it can be hard. It can be a very difficult process sometimes. Um, it can be very challenging to uh, be willing to forgive but it's that forgiveness that allows us to heal and move on with our lives. And as far as trusting men goes, um, I would, if I were you, I'd focus a little bit less on trusting men. And I would focus more on loving, accepting, and trusting yourself. Um, as a woman, you have something that's very, very powerful called intuition and that intuition is something that you should be trusting and when you learn to trust your intuition you no longer need to focus on trusting men because you'll know in your heart uh, what your you know what um, what's going on in your situation and so my suggestion is that you start focusing on trusting yourself instead of focusing on trusting men because um, you know trusting yourself is is much more valuable and will lead to making better decisions than trusting men will ever do so um, that's it for this video if you want more information on how to attract a quality man into a committed lasting relationship make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel I'm Matthew Coast, and I'll speak with you again soon.